guys. Lol. I can't believe I'm actually doing a vlog. <laughs> um, so this is something I'm trying out as I've moved on to my next working holiday visa. Um, so I arrived in Auckland last night around midnight. <clears throat> I'm staying at Base Hostel. Um, it's on Queen Street, which is an amazing location. Um, room's a bit smelly, but as expected with long timers. Um, so today I've literally, well, it sounds like a cool boat party is happening. Makes me miss Sydney. Wait, I'm just gonna chill one sec. So I've perched on a nice little seating area. I feel like it's gonna be a good sunset. Hey. Um, yeah, so I slept for, I couldn't sleep until like 2.30 a.m. just because it's two hours ahead of Sydney um, in Auckland. So my body clock was, yeah, two hours behind, but slept straight through, which is awesome. Oh my God. I don't know whether this is bad poo or like pain. Okay, very excited. later um, but yeah so I woke up um, around half 11 my roommates kind of just like opened the curtains a bit they were kind of like yeah it's time for you to get up um, I had a quick browse on what to do um, I literally only have today in Auckland so I just thought fuck it why not do one of the free walking tours I always do them whenever I go to a new city just because it's such a good way to meet people or just get to know like the cool parts of the city what was really what I loved about this one is how much the guy um how much he talked about like the history and the culture um of New Zealand which you like I did the one in Melbourne in Australia and that one did not have anything to do with like history or whatever. Oh. Um, so I really like that. I like how they really integrate that within um, their tools and stuff. Um, and you can definitely see like it's very integrated just because like the languages is in English and in, I still need to Google this, but is it Maori? Um, yeah. Um, after the walking tour, I went back to my hostel, did a few ad mini bits. So, like, I got myself a new SIM card, stuck with Vodafone just because it's, I know it and it's really good. Just like a prepaid SIM. Um, so, I got myself like a reusable cup um, just because I literally get coffee every single day. Oh, I completely forgot. Before the free walking tour, I went for brunch in this really cute place. Um, called Chuffed, um, literally just one of the first things that came up and like recommended brunch places. Um, I wasn't like hungry hungry but I felt like I should eat something. Um, so I got like this coconut yogurt granola thing which is like obviously so overpriced and I should not be having brunch like this. Um, being a backpacker but I was just like fuck it, like I'm probably not gonna have lunch. Um, and treat yourself like I've been um I've been like not treating myself for the past like few months so it's quite good that's, that's such a lie obviously but whatever <laughs> um so then yeah I had brunch um literally didn't have wi I like they didn't have wi-fi so I just sat there watching Sense and Sensibility I downloaded it off Netflix it's really really good um, yeah, and then I went to the free walking tour after. The coffee was not the best. Um, just as a side note, like, I feel like with iced coffee lattes, it's very hit and miss. I should probably always just order like an iced long black with a shot of like milk. Um, just because they always put way too much milk and not enough coffee. I ended up asking for another shot, but you know when all you can taste is just milk. Yeah. Um, I just grabbed a bite to eat. There's a Mad Max here, which I'm so stoked about because I fucking love Mad Max. 
Um, so I got myself a burrito um, with, what was it called? Like veggie rancheros with to tofu. It just tasted veggie. Yeah, side note, I'm also doing pescatarian January, which I've already broken like twice. Um, one for Bondi Tony's, because it was my last Bondi Tony's book bagger. And I said the other night just because I was wasted. And um, I have just these like spicy chicken wings looks really good but it's cool um if anything i'm being more flexitarian i suppose and just trying to be more aware of like when i'm ordering something like do i really want me like do i really need it like at this moment as opposed to just going for it just because it's sort of there um and also eating like actually really good meat um and i think it will i mean to be honest like in the past year in australia i've not um I've literally bought meat like once or twice, usually for just like chilies, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, so in terms of like not spending that much money on it, in, term in terms of like food shopping, I'm very good. But I do tend to make up for that by eating out and having meat, like, yeah, when I'm out. Um, so hopefully I can save a little bit more money doing that. Yeah, so then I had dinner and then I just, um popped into um one of the happy travel shops just because um one of the lovely area managers is helping me sort out my activities um during my travels for the next five weeks so i just wanted to pop in and say hi but he was around so it was like a quick hello goodbye but really nice to see him um and then now i'm just having a chill walking around i'm by the harbor um I'm just waiting for the sun to set because I love me a sunset. Um, I'm probably just having a bit of reflection time. Um, don't really know if this vlogging thing is gonna work. I can already hear like most of my friends being like, "You are so lame." <laughs> but fuck it, who cares? One of my really good friends actually mess like told me like, "You should try it out." Like, if you really wanted to do it, and honestly, like. I've wanted to do this for like so long um, and traveling for the next five weeks around North and the North and South Island of New Zealand seems like a perfect fit because it's just going to be content galore but I can already tell it's a bit of effort like I haven't vlogged at all today <laughs> just because like walking around with a camera on my face just bare awkward I'm not <laughs> I'm not really not confident enough to be doing this in public yet. Um, I'm literally doing it now because I'm sat down and it probably looks like I'm FaceTiming someone. <laughs> um, but I'm really keen and I'm really keen to just create some like good content. Um, shooting this all on my iPhone XR, so probably not gonna be like cinematic quality, but we'll see how we go. I've got my GoPro as well, so. Yeah, I'm not going to invest in like some expensive ass camera. <laughs> yeah, for like a hobby. A few moments later. Um, I'm actually really surprised at how I like Auckland. I mean, obviously the weather um, has had a big impact. It's like 25 degrees because um, it's the summer, um, which is really nice because I was really scared it was going to be freezing. But it's good. Um, and the city is just like a mix between like Sydney and Melbourne. Like really cool bars and restaurants, but like high rise buildings with a pretty average harbour. I think if I had a few more days, I'd definitely do like day trips to like certain places. Um, but at the same time, I'm also quite happy with just one day here. I think I kind of, it's enough to like, you know, do all, like get started. And then, yeah, I actually started my trip. I really expected to feel the same kind of anxiety as I did when I first arrived in Sydney. Um, okay, so I had to pause the vlogging <coughs> and leave because these two German guys um, sat down next to me. Um, yeah, so sunset was really nice. Um, 
we're on my way back to the hospital. I'm actually really tired. Um, have to be ready for like seven tomorrow. Um, so I don't think it's gonna be like a crazy night. Um, also, I've been drinking like every single day this week, so I think a much needed break would be great. I bloody love these diagonal crossings, like they're so life changing because it always used to annoy me how you'd have to like cross and then cross again to um, like across the streets and stuff. Pretty, pretty cute, it's just like a really nice city basically. Um, it's nice to see some familiarities from like Australia, I really enjoy that. Um, I think I'm gonna pop into the supermarket and grab some like snacks for the bus and also for tonight. <laughs> Day two. <laughs> Why are you talking to your mum? <laughs> Day three. Hey guys, so I have been in Hahe for like since yesterday. So I started my stray trip um, with everyone from Auckland. Um, took us around four hours to get there just because we stopped to like pick up some bits from the supermarket, the liquor store, all that kind of stuff. Um, then we got to a hostel which is basically Hahe Holiday Resort. It's like where most Kiwis like go on holiday in the North Island, which is really nice. But it's really cool because we've got our own little um, like stray area where we can only, only else can use like the bathrooms, toilets, all that kind of stuff. Then we did a hike up Cathedral Cove kayaks um not kayaks more the cathedral cove but um just where they film narnia but yeah that was super nice um the water was freezing but it was we were quite lucky because it was really hot yesterday so um it was actually really refreshing um got some really cool people in my group um which was really nice what else um then we walked back um the barbecue um our driver's called Mozzie and he makes these burgers like Mozzie burgers or something <laughs> um not because I'm trying to be a flexitarian this year I had the veggie ones I, although I did try some of, like a tiny bit of his burger just because I wanted to see what the fuss was about um then we kind of just had a few drinks um played a few games played piccolo and you know um and everyone was knackered so literally everyone went to bed at like 11. um but i had the best sleep even though i'm sharing a room with like 12 people um the beds are actually really comfortable and yeah it was just nice to like sleep all the way through um it's been raining today which is a bit of a shame um but um hopefully we'll still go to hot water beach later um which is where you like dig up the sand and it fills with hot water and it's kind of like a like a jacuzzi kind of thing um at the moment we're kind of just 
having a little walk around after a lazy morning um, going for a walk buying some bits from the shop um, got myself a mochaccino with my reusable cup love it but yeah I'll keep you updated This is really hot. Hot stuff, baby. <laughs> we did it. Let's go! <laughs> Everyone's pumped. <laughs>